in New South Wales, um, I have a farm that uh, has 1,320 acres. Uh, 600 of those acres are a fully grown Australian forest. I'm um, thinking ecological travel and a few other things in there. Right next to it, there are 720 acres of absolutely uh, charming, you know, it's got the charisma and it's got, uh, it's got well, virtually everything. It's very central. It's 15 minutes from the airport in Parks, 20 minutes from Forbes, 30 minutes from Orange, an hour and a half to Bathurst, uh, two hours to Blue Mountains, three hours to Sydney, 25 minutes by plane. Now, what actually happens being so central, being so central, I started to research what it is that I can do with that. Prior to buying that farm, I had a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. My worthy ideal is about the world. I want to touch this world in some form or another. I want to leave a legacy. I want not to put these goals that are mortal. I actually want to transcend this into time. Just like Aristotle, just like Dr. Martini does now, just like Bob Proctor, just like anybody that was quite ordinary and did extraordinary things. So at that farm, I'm building the infrastructure from straw bale. The way I do it, virtually, I'm uh, inviting seminars to be carried on, on onto, the, onto the property, that, which is called Little Harry. It used to be a, a horse exchange for Coburn Company, so it's got quite a brilliant history behind it as well. And literally building a infrastructure where I can bring the best speakers in the world to present to people that will have that tree change, as it were. So that's, that's the business that I want to do there. You know, in order to be able to do that, I need quite a lot of help, quite a lot of help. So the way I was looking at it at the moment, I'll start my business with, with personal mentoring. I'll take advantage of the, the social media, media and so on and so forth. At Little Harry's, what I see there um, is virtually seminars where everybody can, everybody in this room can actually, actually show their wares and so on and so forth. It is a venue that we have. Now, one of, of as I was doing the research, Parks has the great, well, the biggest, the largest Elvis festival, <coughs> Elvis festival in the world. They have the second biggest collection of Elvis memorabilia outside Memphis. In four days, Parks Shire gets $42 million. Uh, uh, as an A artist that just makes tattoos, it usually gets a net profit of about five to $7,000 a day. There is no accommodation about a fortnight prior and a fortnight after. So we can really, truly pipe into that. Bathurst is a, quite a race, as everybody knows. There's always going to be the Holden and the Fords. <coughs> we are an hour and a half from there. We have weekends, we have hot ballooning, we have archery, we have motorcycles. We can get cl clubs together. We can really, really do. We have the venue. Now, the way I see it, it is to actually make that something that it's, well, at the moment it's a novelty to it because it doesn't exist. We can give accommodation, we, we, we can, nobody has to pay for it. We can uh, rent luxury tents, uh, have, uh, just for the day, perhaps. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that by doing something like that, I think it will just evolve with us. But the most important thing is like Justine, she's an artist. She's an artist that she's so authentic that she almost doesn't want to belittle her art in, in, in charging for it and so on and so forth. And so she's looking so hard at educating others, being able perhaps to go back to, to, to Japan under, under the master and, and keep on learning. It's probably one of the greatest satisfactions that you have as an artist, as a human being, I suppose. Um, uh, we have Jane. Jane, you're absolutely fantastic. I mean, I, I really thought that Nice planted you here. You know, such a professional, such a professional to actually have it. This is the question that I had before. The moment I find out about Nice, the good quality question that I asked myself and I've been working with it for the last six weeks was, 
what can I do with a bunch of professionals? And by J. If I really, the way I think is that whatever, I, you know, I never, failure for me doesn't exist. It just doesn't, you know. And I'm, I'm, I'm really the, uh, the person that kind of burns the ships and, you know, you either perish or win. Most of it, well, all the time. Um, so it's fantastic. I really would love to retain your services. I want, from PA to please help me. I want to learn. I want to work with you. Just in the same, Sharon. Uh, what can I say? Thank you so much. I do want to retain your services. I, I really need it. Team, a wisdom garden. A wisdom garden. Um, whatever you can think about, you know, wisdom. How it would look, how we can collaborate on that. Uh, it, it's something on Olivia, Olivia Newton John did one, I've seen it, it's just absolutely magnificent. The, the feeling that, oh, a wisdom garden. Um, look, how about X coming there, being able to really show you where, you know, also being able to wholesale, because obviously you already have the connections and you know what you're buying, you're a professional buyer. You may not be such an aggressive buyer like Mike is, um, you know, our, our speaker from, but, uh, but I would love to have that. Stefan, uh, T-shirts, Elvis Festival. How about at a farm? Um, how about, because we already know, you know, but this is astronomy, it's a precise numbers, numbers don't lie. We'll know precisely when a shower of meteorites are happening, isn't it? We can do months before that. The venue, we can, well, two trucks of straw bales. There's your sitting, there's your tables, there's uh, outside uh, bonfires, outside barbecues, not so many licenses. Yes, fire brigade, yes, St. John's, yes, cancel, um, yes, outsourcing, and so on and so forth. But really, uh, that is the vision that I have, and we have the infrastructure. We have a pristine 600 acres of fully grown Australian forest, and then we have charm and charisma in valleys and everything, and totally central, absolutely totally central. So what I want to put there is really, I'll, I'll leave it to this, uh, I think it's much better if I leave just in, in a, a little bit of in, innuendo, and we'll, we'll, we'll uh, take it from here. Um, so probably one of the best ways I can put it is that I would like to have an hour with each person in this in this classroom, and I would like to to go a little bit further and explain how do I change a mindset, how do I instill what you already have in you, how do I actually teach you, give you the tools to undo that that God's given right that you have, which I usually call it just the right to dream, that unfortunately most of us rob ourselves from it. So this is me, this is Valerica Dumitru for the outside world, because it's the easiest way to change your attitude is to change your name. And guys, you know me as Rick, Rick Dumitru, and thank you so very much. It's, it's been a pleasure. Um, I'll put all this in, in, in a written form and electronic <laughs> uh, to our professor, Michael, or Captain, my captain. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, um, Tim, you're up next. I don't know how.